I think Hindus uh, would have learned English and and been as Hindu as possible, and both would have worked perfectly fine. I think Raja Ram Mohan Roy was was being paranoid for no reason. <laughs> So there is is a 180 degree difference between Raja Ram Mohan Roy and uh, Sir Syed Ahmed Khan, right? The core difference being that has led us to different points in our history and in the current times today in terms of what Hindus have been able to do and what Muslims have been able to do. That distinction is very important while discussing Raja Ram Mohan Roy. Uh, based on that, keeping this point in mind, I think you should draw your conclusions about Raja Ram Mohan Roy because it is a grey area. Raja Ram Mohan Roy is saying. you don't need to learn sanskrit a person who supposedly knows uh, is fluently sanskrit is saying you don't need to sanskrit and you definitely don't need to learn indian epistemology it has no value indic wisdom etc even though he has read it apparently learn english get become part of the colonial education system progress in your life okay uh, that is his argument sir said ahmed khan's argument is learn english become part of the establishment become part of the colonial education system but also go back to your islamic roots okay now in light of that based on this you should draw your uh, conclusions of raja ram mohan roy if you if you don't even agree that raja ram mohan roy ha- had any uh, misgivings or he was he was not wrong at all for discarding uh, indic education or thought systems or if he didn't even do that then then i have nothing to say to you of course because we disagree on on the basic premise uh, or even the facts as well because i think his letter is clear enough that he he wants he, he does not care about indic epistemology all that much but if we agree on that that he did want to uh, discard indic epistemology in face what what he believed would have been best for india's india's youth why then is sir said ahmed khan said said ahmed khan's view not as good as his okay because said uh, what sir said ahmed khan is saying obviously makes more sense learn english don't don't forget to be as muslim as possible because if you don't learn english you are not being part of the education system and hindus are going to kick your ass that's sir said ahmed khan's argument now what what did ram mohan roy's views of indic epistemology and indian, indian education system lead hindus to and what did sir said ahmed khan's idea lead uh, muslims to that we have to discuss now what we can see is that hindus are largely uh, successful in terms of career and education क्योंकि इंग्लिश एजुकेशन सिस्टम के हम जब पार्ट बन गए तब हमारा प्रोग्रेस कोई रोक नहीं पाया बिकॉज जॉब्स uh, था जॉब्स के वजह से सैलरी uh, मिला एंड 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 जनरेशन केप्ट लर्निंग बींग पार्ट ऑफ द एजुकेशन सिस्टम बट अ लार्ज चंक ऑफ द कंट्री डिड नॉट गेट टू डू इट एनी वे बट दैट्स बिकॉज ऑफ सोशलिस्ट पॉलिसीज एट्सेट्रा नॉट नॉट इनफ मार्केट इकोनॉमिक्स वो प्रॉब्लम है ना सर सैद अहमद खान एडवाइस वॉज नॉट रियली पेड हीट टू बाई द मुस्लिम कम्युनिटी एज वेल इज इन टेट विच इज वाई एंड मे बी इन इन दैट केस मे बी यू कैन यू कैन से दैट सर सर सैद अहमद खान प्रपोजिशन वॉज एक्चुअली टू डिफिकल्ट फॉर अ फॉर अ जनरल मास ऑफ पीपल टू फॉलो एंड देयर फॉर राजा राम मोहन रॉयज प्रपोजिशन माइट हैव बीन बेटर यू कैन आर्ग्यू दैट बिकॉज वॉट आर वी सींग दैट मुस्लिम्स डिड नॉट become a part of the colonial education system or the job system as much sir said ahmed khan wanted them to they only followed half of the advice which is be as muslim as possible which uh, jaisai deepak admires vehemently in, in india bharat pakistan or job wab nahi mila utna to aaj bhi muslim community remains mostly poor and even if they d- now are they really poor or not we will never know because there's so much of illegal muslim population uh, immigration all the time so when we look at the in- general muslim mass as mostly poor a lot of that might be because of the unlimited uh, poor muslims coming in from bangladesh and pakistan so we will never know but if if that is the case that muslims are generally m- uh, more uneducated and more out of jobs than hindus then that is a fail- failure of uh, of of not being able to follow sir said ahmed khan's advice properly whereas hindus followed raja ram mohan roy perfectly gave up their hindu roots and became commercially successful now we are at a point where we have a definitely a very obvious dearth of people who can talk about indic epistemology and hindu faith or wisdom uh, intelligence everything we have a we have a dearth of people like that but we are a, we are the fifth largest uh, economy in the world and only increasing so then why should we care about indic epi- epistemology going going to hell because uh, we are still at odds with a general law and order problem when it comes to the middle eastern colonizers 
बिकॉज सर तन से जुदा आ, कोई अगर करना चाहा तो वो कर देगा आ, उसके बाद में पुलिस उसको शायद पकड़ेगी शायद नहीं पकड़, पकड़ पाएगी बट इन जनरल देर इज द ह्यूज सिस्टम ऑफ सपोर्ट सिस्टम दैट दे हैव फॉर फॉर क्रिएटिंग वायलेंस एंड दे विल बी एबल टू किल यू इफ दे इफ दे फील द नीड टू बट ऑन द अदर हैंड हिंदूज हैव नो सच यूनिटी एंड आई थिंक दैट यूनिटी इज इज ऑलवेज अ बिट टफ एनी वे बट दैट्स हैम्पर्ड हैज बीन हैम्पर्ड इवन मोर बिकॉज ऑफ राजा राम मोहन रॉय सेवेंटी फाइव इयर्स फाइव ईयर्स ऑफ एजुकेशन आइडियाज now where do you stand let me know do you think we could have followed we could have discarded raja ramon roy's ideas and instead we if there was a sir sayed ahmed khan uh, uh, for for the hindu side who might have said uh, the exact same things for hindus like uh, she rishi aurobindo or somebody if they were given more importance instead of raja ramon roy who said that be as hindu as possible also be part of the colonial system as as much as possible do you think hindus would have been more successful in in uh, in doing that as opposed to the muslims who were not successful muslims did not become part of the colonial system just became as muslims as as muslim as possible i think hindus could have because of what we are achieving now in terms of the rest of the world especially where, where the rest of the colonized societies have have still not recovered from their uh, from the harm they received in the colonial times but we have because of our general hindu intelligence and hindu ethos i think hindus would have perfectly been able to follow an advice like sir sayed ahmed khan's which is uh, read uh, be part of the colonial education system but also be as hindu as possible that is where is the main criticism i have for raja ram mohan roy because a lot of people might say that no hindus would also be as poor and as uh, muslims that is the general bengali argument i know that that raja ram mohan roy saved india by discarding sanskrit and indic epistemology if it is an either or situation that yeah either indic epistemology nahi to amir banna staying in the system if you have to choose only between these two then obviously raja ram mohan roy's uh, advice seems fun and nice but i don't think that would have been the case i think hindus could have managed it i think hindus uh, would have learned english and and been as hindu as possible and both would have worked perfectly fine i think raja ram mohan roy was was being paranoid for no reason jaya jaya he mahishasura mar